Law enforcement officers are learning new ways to keep drivers safe after they say it's more common for people to drive under the influence of drugs compared to drinking. Chelsea Withers has more on how law enforcement is searching for ways to tackle that issue. Most people can detect when someone's drunk, whether it's slurred speech, impaired behavior, or their eyes. However, law enforcement is explaining that times are changing. It's less common someone who is drunk to get behind the wheel and more common for those who are under the influence of drugs to do so. We take a lot of prescription drugs in this country and a lot of them have the ability to impair you. And so we are coming across a wider spectrum and, and when we talk to the task forces, it's anywhere from three to one to five to one the number of impaired drivers they arrest that are drug impaired as opposed to alcohol impaired. In efforts to learn more on what to do about the issue, local and state officers joined together to hear from AAA, PennDOT, and the Pennsylvania DUI Association to discuss the changing drug landscape within the area. The medical uh, legalization of marijuana has a direct effect on traffic safety and as a uh, as a traffic safety advocate avocation organization it's something that we're very much active in officers talked about issues revolving around medical marijuana along with what to do if they suspect someone with a DUID however in order to avoid something like this from happening to you you should consider drugs and driving like drinking and driving consult with your physician uh, regardless of what the medication is you are taking talk to your physician about it and uh, if you don't feel right if it makes you feel odd or off well that means you probably shouldn't drive get somebody to drive you uh, uber and lyft are fantastic well that was chelsea withers reporting